working with Henry Mancini and uh, so many of the great artists. Wasn't he know. great? Oh, he was the best. Oh, uh, man. Sam Cooke, another one. Oh, wow. You know, great. Yeah, Sam Cooke. Rosie Clooney, well, she was another one. You know, people don't have this anymore, and it used to be back in those days, most artists had it. But I was back in there, it's all mono or two track and two track. And, and I would set up, she'd get a level on a setup, fade it in, and I never worried about it again. Right. She leaned in on a low note, she backed off on a high note. I, <laughs> microphone technique. Absolutely, microphone yep. technique, and, and people don't have that anymore. You know, they shout right into the mic. <laughs> Guys, I've got a question for you, and it's, uh, it, it'll come off as a little self-serving, but it's really yeah, not. Um, we spent about half a day yesterday talking about ribbon mics and listening to a lot of different music, but between the three of you, you've got hundreds of recordings where you've used ribbons, Royers and, and a bunch of other stuff, and I just was wondering if you wouldn't mind giving us your thoughts on, on ribbons in general. I love ribbons. Oh, I mean, too. It. I mean, That's they it. have their place, um, you know, and, and I, I use them like... I mean, automatically in a big band thing, they're on the trombones. Um, you know, the electric guitar. It, it, I use the stereo mic sometimes for the room. Uh, they're great mics, you know, and they have their place. I mean, you know, I, I would, I could probably, and almost have used all the ribbons on on a session, but I, I don't think uh, when we did our tour, that was how many do we have? Oh, let's see. 11, 12, 13 or 14, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. So, Me great. too. I love ribbon. You know, make you a genius. You know, if I'm doing a John Mayer record <laughs> and, and I can put a ribbon anywhere near his amp and push the fader up and have this guy think I'm a genius, well, that's, you know, I'm, I'm down with that. Or if I can put a ribbon on, on, a, on a cranky bunch of trumpet players that I started out learning how to record from Bruce, which is uh, Jerry Hay and these guys that hate everything. If I can get one of these guys, you know, happy and you can move on, that's that's really good. Yeah. But you have to be careful careful with ribbons because um, you have to keep your ears open and be vigilant because they get fatigued and all of a sudden you can get a couple of harmonics that you didn't mean to have and you, you can find out if you're not paying attention, you can get burned. Very true. Right, John? Yeah, not with your microphones, of course. But. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. What's a harmonic? <laughs> <laughs> it's this thing these guys go, <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, a lot of times you'll you know you'll Stevie there'll be Lawrence. another yeah. there'll be another sympathetic tone or something like that, and that and you're you have to be vigilant, and it's and a lot of people will overlook it and and find out about it too late. But Pro Tools can fix that, right? Fix everything else. Yeah, we'll Whatever. fix it in the mix. Yeah. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah. Right.